Hey, it's me again. This is one of the coolest parts of this trail. Stick with me here. Still, I'm heading up to top of Blood Mountain. I'm about two thirds of the way up there, I believe, which means I'm probably very close to 4,000 feet high in elevation. The summit's at 4,500. But uh, it uh, changed quite a bit from the last time. Look at the mountain laurels. They look a little bit like rhododendrons. In fact, they look a lot like rhododendrons. Uh, leaves are, I mean, the flowers are different. But, uh, oh shit. Yeah, all right, let's go. Let's go for it. You'll get a chance to see. See, they put timber right there because they don't want people cutting through and shortcutting these switchbacks. But holy shit, look at these. This is like my sixth or seventh time up here. So I've gotten kind of used to it, but I'll tell you what, I never get used to the, I never get tired of the beauty in that last video. I was talking about some boulders. I'm a couple hundred feet higher in elevation, but there's still boulders. But look at this area through here. You see more of these boulders. This is what they call a boulder field. <sighs> these are huge boulders. But look at the size of these rocks. Let's go up that together so you can see what it's like. If you're having a good day, it's Thursday afternoon. It's gotten pretty cloudy. I saw, I felt some raindrops a little bit ago. I just felt the first little slip on these shoes. But see what I mean? Like, so you have to kind of, I'm going to go from there up to here. There's a bunch of more boulders. Look at this. What I was talking about before. Like these things just came careening down the mountain at some point. And, uh, oh, look at this. This is kind of cool. You kind of have to go. This is the trail. This is actually the HE. It cuts right through, through these rocks. And then all through here. Look at this. More boulders, like everywhere. Look at the mountain laurels. How pretty they are. But uh, I'll tell you, this is a great way to break in these these goat speeds, these shoes. This is why you want to have shoes that feel like make you feel like a goat so that you can climb like a goat. But look at this. Well, I'm gonna basically, sometimes it's easier to just like hop. Ugh. I've had some people ask me if I use poles or why I don't use poles. And I don't really have a good answer other than I don't have any, but I'm, my balance is pretty good, and I uh, I like to uh, work out my leg muscles. So having these, just having to use your legs. Uh, what the hell's going on down here? I'm trying to get there. We go. Uh, trying to get. Uh, Trying to use my legs so that I can strengthen them. So going up and down without poles, basically you're just, you know, you're just uh, relying on your calf and thigh muscles. Some of you, if you've been following me for a while, look at this rock right here. You know that I blew out my calf muscle in the spring of 2020, right after the pandemic started. Look at this monster right here because uh, I was trying to heh, get in better shape so that I could avoid going to the hospital. You know, trying to avoid the healthcare system, so to speak. And guess where I ended up one night? I was near the top of Stone Mountain at that time. 
and I uh, I was running like a fool. But I was, you know, near the top, like I said, I was already very warmed up. But I really hadn't run, certainly not on rocks going uphill in a long time. So I, I repelled off this one huge boulder. And I could hear through my Led Zeppelin, ear, which was playing on my earbuds, uh, loudly. I could hear the pop. And fortunately, I didn't fall, but I immediately stopped and realized I had done some serious damage. I had a level 3 tear in my calf muscle. So, I'll check in with you later.